Hi, this is Stephen Brower of the Computer Science Department. In this video, I'll show you how to download the Java JDK and also how to download the text pad and then configure it if necessary. First of all, I'm on Windows 7 Home, which is the 64-bit uh, version of the operating system. Before I go any further, I want to just show you how you can double check to see what your machine currently has. If I go into Programs and Features, and if I take a look under Java, what these currently are, this is the runtime environment. The runtime environment is what allows you to run a Java program. You may already have this installed because of running a game or some other program. Uh, this one here is the 32-bit uh, version. This one here is the 64-bit uh, version. The other thing I want to show you, if you look at the hard drive itself, it's a way you can see um, what is installed in the hard drive. So I'm going to go into Program Files, which is the 64-bit, into Java, and we see the JRE is there. And then I'm going to go into the x86, which is the 32-bit, and we see that the JRE is installed there. Okay, so now I want to download the um, Oracle, um, the Java from the Oracle website. So I go www.oracle.com. <laughs> um, typo. Sorry about that. <laughs> www.oracle.com. Uh, downloads Java for developers. Now there is a version 7. And I haven't had a chance yet to test to see how different it is in the 6th. I'd rather us use the 6th edition just so that we're using the same one or a similar one to what we have in the labs. So here's the Java um, Standard Edition 6 Update 27. I'll do the download the JDK. Now, um, I will accept the license agreement. And since I'm on a 64-bit machine, uh, I'm going to pick the Windows um, 64 here. Let me save this file. Um, okay, this is going to take about three minutes, so let me just pause the video for right now. Now, the actual time it will take you to download will depend on uh, the speed that you have. Um, the other thing is, I do have um, Norton Antivirus on my machine, and off the screen, it just came in and said that the file that I downloaded is uh, safe. Now that it has been marked as being safe, or, or, or Norton says it's safe, I will go and I'll run the file by double clicking on it. And uh, yes, I'll allow it to continue. And let me try to bring this into view. Um, so I want to go through next. I'm just going to take the uh, default of the, um, uh, the folders. And in a moment, I'll pause uh, the video again and just come up where uh, it, this picks up. Maybe soon. Okay, I, um, I didn't pay attention how long that took. Let me just go and click Finish. This will bring up the Oracle website where you can go and then you can register. And uh, in terms of registering, you'll get contacted if there are um, you know, updates or, or other email, but um, I'm not going to show that registering right now. So at the present moment, the uh, JDK is installed on this machine. And just to double check, I'm going to go and bring up the control panel. and show that the JDK is installed. And you can see here the JDK um, has been installed on the machine. Now one other thing I do want to do is I do want to check my path. So let me go into the system um, and then do advanced options. And I want to check that the path is set. Whoops, which went off the screen. So environment variables. Um, well, one, I think this is because I previously had the Java uh, JRE here, but if you notice the class path dot 
semicolon, so dot by itself is included. That's one thing that would have to be included. Um, if the path, the Java, was, wasn't included, that would need to be um, added in. So let me go and add in. Um, it's the magic of uh, doing a demo. I do now have the JDK, the bin uh, folder has been added so that Java C will be in the uh, path. Okay. Um, and since as before I showed you the hard drive um, showing you where uh, Java was installed, let me just real quick show that on the hard drive under program files that the JDK is now uh, installed. Okay, so I do want to install uh, TextPad. So let me now install uh, TextPad.com or go to TextPad.com TextPad.com and let me go to Downloads and I'll take the English save this and whoops the downloader the downloads taking place here okay that uh, download pretty quick again my Norton antivirus said it's safe so let me go and run this I'll accept the license agreement and I'm just going to take the default and turn to the name. Anyone who uses the computer will be able to use the text pad. I'll just take the default installation in terms of the directory where it's going and I'll do the install. So let me just do another pause of the video for a second. Okay, that came back. <clears throat> let me just do a finish. So that would have the, uh, now the text pad uh, is installed. What I do want to do though is I should double check that the text pad is installed correctly um, by, oops, let me bring this into our window. Um, okay, close. Sorry, just resizing this. Um, one, I just want to take a peek. Did it add in? And now in this case, because I set the path then when TextPad was installed, it discovered that it was there and it added the compile and run Java. If the path wasn't set, I would have to manually add those things in. Now let me go and open. What I did is I um, do have here um, just a sample file. This is just so I can test the environment. And so let me do the compile. Tool, external tools compile Java and hopefully I get in the output window tool completed successfully and tool external tools run Java application and whoops off the screen but hello world so um, I now have the text pad installed